Hello, I'm Waffles or Better. In this video, I will be talking about how to create a custom pause menu screen for your Minecraft server, a little bit like this, using resource packs in Minecraft Java Edition. This can make your server just a little bit more customized and more of your own, and it can also make you look a lot cooler to the people using your server because you've got your own customized pause menu. However, if you don't have your own server yet and you are looking to get one, you can check out this video's sponsor, Server Pro Hosting. Server Pro has VPS gaming servers with DDoS protection for lots of games, not just Minecraft. And with one VPS, you can actually uh, switch between different games for free at any time, or you can actually also host multiple servers on one VPS. So to me, that seems pretty great for a group of friends or a small community server. And they obviously care a lot about the experience that you have using their site because they are sponsoring this video, which is meant to help people that are using sites like theirs have more fun and a better experience. Not only is ServerPro interested in making your experience using their services better, but they also have a dedicated support team that you can email at any time. To do that, you can just scroll down to the bottom of their site and click on contact down here. Uh, this is just how you would send their support team an email, and that is at server.pro slash contact. And if I just go back again and go down to the bottom of the site again, um, you can see they have a link to their Discord on here. And if you're in the Discord server, you can get some more unofficial support from the community. You can look at this video's description to go check out their site, or you can just go to server.pro. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating a new resource pack. I'm just going to call this custom title screen. Uh, the name doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. So I don't have a folder here. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder that I just created. That's going to be on my desktop and then in resource packs. And then that was the custom title screen folder that I just made. So inside of this file, you're going to have to create a pack.mc meta file. And if you've made resource packs before, you probably know what this is. You're going to want to put a curly bracket, and inside of there, you're going to want to put pack in quotation marks, and then a colon, and pack underscore format, and then a colon. And this is going to be 8 because we are using 1.18. I will link a video in the description talking about different pack formats and what versions those are for if you want to make a pack for an earlier version. And then next, you're going to want to put description. And this is just going to be the description that you want your pack to have. So I'm going to say, uh, adds a custom menu screen, because that's what this pack is going to do. So that's pretty simple, but if you want a little more in depth of a video on what all this stuff does, there will be a link to that in the description. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is create a new folder inside of the resource pack folder and call this assets. And inside of assets, you're going to want to create a new folder called Minecraft. And inside of Minecraft, you're going to create a new folder called Lang. And once you have this Lang file, you're going to need to bring in a file that you're going to need to extract from the version.jar file inside of your .minecraft folder. So if you don't know how to do that, then there is a link to that in the description. I'm not going to go over that in this video because it takes a little while to talk about, so Again, if you don't know how to do that, there is a video linked to that in the description. So I'm going to pull up my folder that I already have. This is for 1.17.1 because I haven't updated yet, but that shouldn't really change anything for uh, what we're doing here. You're going to want to go to the assets folder from your extracted version jar file and then go to Minecraft and then go to Lang, just like we have here. So assets, Minecraft, Lang, assets, Minecraft, Lang. Uh, you're going to take whatever file you have here, which is probably in underscore us.json if you are watching in the United States, and you're going to just copy this file and drag it into Lang. As you can see, it's opened up this file for me, and you have all of this text here. Um, however, you're not really going to need all of this text, uh, because anything that you have in here is going to override the original language, but anything that you don't have in here is going to... Uh, stay as what the default language has it at. So I'm on my Minecraft server. This is the Waffles SMP. I don't know if this is the final seed that I'm going to use because I haven't finished setting up the server yet uh, at the recording time in this video. So this is where you're going to find all the text that you're actually going to need to change. So if you are making a custom title screen for your Minecraft server, there are several things you might want to customize. For example, back to game, disconnect, and the game menu. 
and also open to LAN because this button isn't going to do anything so you could set this to anything you want. So you probably don't want to change any of these things that don't have anything to do with your server because people will need to be able to find the options button and so if you change that to something else it might confuse them. So what I'm actually going to do is make a copy of this file I just imported. Uh, I'm going to leave it as enus copy.json because uh, I'm going to end up deleting this later so it doesn't matter what the name is. So I'm going to go to enus.json and just uh, completely delete everything. So all that you're going to have here is a set of curly brackets. So go back to the file that you just copied and search for, let's see, back to game. I'm going to change what that says. So search, press control F if you are on Windows or command F if you are on a Mac and you can search for back to game. Uh, so back to game, you're going to see right here it says menu.return to game. So I'm going to copy menu.return to game and paste that into my enus.json file. And you'll see there's an error because you haven't actually specified anything for menu.return to game uh, to be called. So I'm just going to call this maybe back to the waffles SMP. Because um, if you click back to game, it's going to take you back from the pause menu into your server. Then the next thing that I'm going to change, as you can see here, uh, is the disconnect button. So I'm going to go back into this temporary file. And as you can see, disconnect is right above back to game, which is menu.disconnect. So I'm going to copy all of that and paste it right under menu.return to game. Make sure to add a comma after menu.return to game. Also make sure that you delete this comma here because you don't need it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and test this just so you can see how it is working. I'm just copying my main file, custom title screen, and I am going to options and then resource packs and then open pack folder. So here I'm just going to go ahead and paste the custom title screen pack that I just created. Here you will see that it shows up right here under custom title screen, click this button and then click done, it will apply the pack. And then if I click done again, you will see that these buttons have changed names from back to game to back to the waffles SMP and disconnect to come back soon. However, in my opinion, this is somewhat boring because it's just regular white on gray. So I'm just gonna open a new tab in Google Chrome and look up Minecraft color coats. It's going to come up with this. Uh, this link right here, which is pretty useful here. You can get all of the color codes and stuff that you're going to need to so say that I want to use gold in my text. I'm going to copy it and paste it into the text here. And so the menu dot disconnect text is going to be gold. So if I go back and copy the lime green color code, I can then paste it right before the return to game text. And so if I then save it and then go back to resource packs and paste it in and then click done and then F3T, it will reload all the resource packs. And then if I press escape, you'll see that it has changed the colors of the text. One last thing that I'm going to do is change the open to LAN text. As I said before, uh, that's not going to be used while you're in a server, so you can go ahead and change that. So I'm just going to search LAN. It's going to come up with the open to LAN text. Oops, gotta copy the menu.share to LAN. And then I'm going to add a comma after come back soon and paste open to LAN here. And uh, instead of open to LAN, I think I'm just going to make it say waffles are better. And let's see. Maybe I'll use the dark aqua color. So then I just need to paste that before. Oh, I accidentally highlighted the W, so I deleted that. And then uh, make sure there's no space before the format code. And the next thing that I want to actually do is just create a name for the server up here. So I have made this uh, this title thing right here. Uh, it's just a rough draft for now. I might redo it later. I'm just going to download it. This right here is the file that I've just downloaded. I'm going to rename it to, I guess, uh, title.png. So once I've got title.png, I'm then going to add this to my pack. Inside of the Minecraft folder in my resource pack, I'm going to create a new folder called uh, 
textures, and inside of textures, I'm going to create a new folder called font. This is where I'm going to put the image that I just downloaded. I'm going to drag it into the font folder and it will just automatically copy it there. So as you can see, I now have this in my resource pack. And then I actually think this has to be in lowercase. So make sure that the name of your file is in lowercase and also has no spaces. So then I can go ahead and close this textures folder because I won't be needing it anymore. And also close the lang folder for now and Inside of the Minecraft folder, I'm going to create a new folder again called font. Inside of font, I'm going to create a new file, and this is going to be called default.json. And it does need to be called default.json exactly because it's going to be changing the default font for uh, just regular Minecraft. So I have gone over this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go super into depth on what all this stuff does. But I will have a link in the description if you want to check that out. So inside of default.json, you're going to have a curly bracket, and inside of there, providers, and then after providers, you're going to want a square bracket array, and then another curly bracket. So you're going to want to put type, and then in quotation marks, bitmap, oops, bitmap, and then file, and then inside of quotation marks, you're going to put the uh, path to the file that you just created. So it's going to be Minecraft, because it's inside of the Minecraft folder, and then skip over the textures folder, and then font, so Minecraft, font, and then slash, and then the name of the PNG that you uploaded, so mine is title, and then dot PNG. So next you're going to put height, and this is actually going to be the height in pixels of your file. So go ahead and open up the resource pack that you're making in File Explorer, and then go to the texture that you created, then right click on it, and then click properties, and then go to details, and this will tell you that it is uh, this many pixels by this many pixels. So for me, that's 256 by 256, and I believe this does need to be a multiple of 16, and then the ascent is going to be also 256. And one more thing you're going to want to put in quotation marks, chars or cares, which means characters, and then some square brackets, and then in quotation marks, the name of the character you want uh, your title to be. So this needs to be backslash U, E, and then just say 000 for now. You can change this to lots of different numbers, so UE001, UE002, etc. But I'm gonna just make mine UE000 and make sure it starts with the U capital E like that. So I'm going to check to make sure this looks good. It might be too big and it might be too high up on the screen. So to do that, I'm going to go back to en underscore us dot json, actually uh, back to the copy I have here. And I want to change the game menu. So I'm looking for game menu. And so this is menu dot game. I'm going to copy menu dot game and I'll just paste it actually at the top. So here, I want to actually delete everything inside of those quotation marks, and then go back to default.json, the font file, and copy whatever character you put here, and then go back to enus and paste it like that. So it did not work, and I think that is because I made the file height too big, so I'm going to go back to the font and change this to 64 and 64 and see if that works better. All right, I assumed this would be a problem. You can see it says Waffles SMP up there, but it is way too high up. So what you're then going to do is mess around with the ascent in your font file. I'm gonna try making it zero, maybe change the height to 128. So uh, as I went over in my custom fonts video that you can find in the description, the height is what changes uh, how big the image is and the ascent changes where it is on the screen. So I have managed to position this the way I want, although as you can see, it is a little bit off to the right, so I'll fix that in a second. But the values I have are a height of 192 and an ascent of 48. So it isn't actually as big as the file is, and it's about 48 pixels above where it normally would be if I had not changed the ascent. So all that I've done is move everything to the left side of this image, and now I'm going to try replacing the image in my pack with this one. So as you can see, it is now perfectly centered, just the way I want it to be. And I'm just going to try making one more thing. 
So I have made this and I'm going to use that to replace the leave button. So let me get that set up. So I've gone ahead and put that in the same folder as the title image. I'm going back to default and I'm just going to copy this whole thing right here like that and then paste it. And this is going to be more info.png and I'll set this to just another number, UE001. And then going back to the language, I can um, just copy this again, and I'm going to delete the comeback soon and replace that with UE001. So there we go, this is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good, except that uh, maybe I'll work a little bit more on this more info box down here. The one thing that annoys me is that the wafflesarebetter.com link does not work, but sadly there's not really anything you can do about that. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, you can give me those in the comments. Or you can join my Discord server, also linked in the description, and talk to me there. Thank you again to Server Pro for sponsoring this video, and also thanks to everyone who's watching this video, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.